Today, I'll show you two easy and fast ways you can summarize a YouTube video, whether it's a short five minute video or a long two hour podcast. Be sure to stick around because I'm also going to tell you the limitations of this method. But please don't try it for this video because it might hurt my watch time. So make sure to just try it on random videos at the side here. First of all, go to the video that you want to summarize. For example, today I want to summarize this video, 30 Jet GPT hacks you need to know. So copy the video link. So you can just copy video URL like this, or just click on the link above and copy. Next, go to gemini.google.com or just search up Gemini Google. And then it will be in one of the first links. So once you enter here, if you can sign in, that's the best. If not, I think you should be able to still use it. So here you have Gemini 1.5 flash, which is the AI model that it's using. So if I click on it, you can see different kinds of models. 2.0 flash is the newest one, which is more advanced. I recommend using 2.0 flash experiment because it can summarize longer YouTube videos. And then paste the link and then click submit. And it should automatically connect to YouTube, get the transcript from YouTube, and then it will summarize like this. As you can see, this is the summary. It gives you the time, the views, as well as the summary, 30 tips. As you can see, this is all in dot points. And that's it, it is done. However, there's a limitations to this method. It can only automatically read the YouTube transcript for up to 30 minutes. So longer than that, it will get confused and it will cut off. And also if you want to include timestamps, it will fail. So another method is an extra step but I think I prefer it more than Gemini, which is using ChatGPT instead. So the only difference for this method is you need to manually get the transcript. Go to the video that you want to summarize. For example, I want to summarize this 12 minute video. Scroll down and then click on more to open up the description. So what you gotta do is to find a transcript button here. It's just usually just above the profile image if you are on the desktop. So just click on show transcript and then it will open up the transcript for us. So once you open the transcript, you want to copy all the text from the transcript. So what you got to do is to click on the first timestamp, scroll all the way down, hold shift, and then click on the last timestamp. As you can see right now, we've already highlighted all the transcript. Now just right click and copy it. And then now go to chat GPT. As you can see, I have already opened up my chat GPT here and just say and then paste the entire transcript in here. Submit it. Okay, as you can see, this is the summary that it generates, which is much more detailed and much more nice, nicer looking. But if you want to enhance the formatting, I usually use this prompt. So first of all, I just copy and paste my transcript first and then and then copy and paste this prompt can you summarize the full youtube video with timestamp your output should use the following template timestamp with one sentence summary as well as a simple note so if you see this this is the, my preferred uh, output so it gives you the timestamp so i can refer it back into the video and then it gives a one sentence summary for that timestamp as well as after that it will create a general notes um, telling me what is important for that video. However, there is also a word limit to how much you can paste in a single prompt. So for example, if you want to paste this 30, uh, 23 minute long video transcript to ChatGPT and I paste it. So right now it has 2700, 27,000 characters and 4,900 words. So if I submit it, it says that the message you submitted was too long. Please reload the conversation and submit something shorter. So what you gotta do is cut the transcript into half. So scroll up and click on edit message and then scroll all the way down and then click on the below and then around halfway. Let's say click on shift and then Control X to cut away and then send it. Try again to see whether it works. As you can see, now it works because it's shorter. Okay, so once it generates the summary, then just say this. 
And then we just paste the, the continuation of the transcript that we cut off. And then it will continue to generate the transcript for us. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure to subscribe and like this video as I share practical ways to use AI to boost your productivity, save time, and even have some fun along the way. If you want to support me and get ad-free videos, I have a Patreon as well, link down in the description, where you can also get ad-free and early access to all my videos. Keep practicing and I'll see you in the next video.